Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Silent Hill. Last time, we solved the bug problem, and uh, we found out from first Sybil, and then Lisa, where we probably need to go. Sybil said that she saw a girl walking across the lake, and Lisa told us how to get to that lake. We gotta go back to the residential section of Silent Hill. Gotta go to Bachman Road. The road has been cut off, the route to the lake. But Lisa did say that there was a, a waterworks by the elementary school, and maybe we could take that to find the way to the lake. Well, Harry's willing to try anything. Maybe one thing we shouldn't be trying is uh, listening to Dahlia, because she sent us to that antique shop, and all that did was just plop us into the dark Silent Hill. Dahlia clearly wants us to chase after the other girl we've been seeing, Alessa. But Harry's not interested in any of that mess. He's trying to find Cheryl. He doesn't care about this Alessa person. Why would he care about her? Because first Dahlia sent us to the school, where we first saw Alessa. Oh, speaking of the school, it's warping us right there. She first sent us to the... No, we first... I'm sorry. We, we went to the school because we found the note. And then Dahlia told us to go to the hospital, where apparently Alessa was heading to, and then after that, Alessa went to the antique shop, and then Dahlia sent us the to the antique shop. That's the progression. That's right. Dahlia did not tell us to go to the school. Unless Dahlia left the note that said to school. We don't actually know who left that. Harry said that was uh, Cheryl's notebook, but I guess we didn't see Cheryl write that down. Anyway, this is locked. We were here once before, on the way to the school. But this time, Harry is noticing that we might be able to break this lock if we hit it really hard. Fortunately, we have, we have a few things that we can hit things really hard with. My favorite is the hammer, of course, as you know. Don't get tired of hitting things with this hammer. There we go. We hit it real good. Well, not much here except music which is escalating. But there is this, this ladder going down. We're just going to go down. Harry's not even going to observe it. He's not going to question it. We're just going to go down the, la the ladder into the sewer system of this haunted town. It's fine. Well, here we are in the sewers. It's a good thing Harry's flashlight is so powerful. Just sends out a really wide beam. Well, yep, yeah, okay, we heard something. We got some bugs, got some roaches. Let's see if we can hit it with the hammer. Okay, yeah. Gotta swing early, though. There we go. My controller's rumbling. Hold on. Still plenty of these. Haven't used any of these or any of these. You know, the first time I played through the game, I was confused about the description of this. It says that you relieve pain to re recover stamina. The effect lasts for a while. That makes it sound like it's going to wear off. No, it, it's just a health item. It's the most powerful health item. You have health drink as weakest. First aid kit as medium. And pool as the strongest. The description kind of makes it sound weird, though. Like, maybe it like gives you a boost, but it wears off. Nah, it doesn't. It's a health item. Don't worry about it. I believe yep, here we go. Got a new enemy. They're green and they're mean. Still, the hammer's pretty good. It's slow, but you can hit him. How much health? How much damage did I take from that? Eh, not really. Something else you might have noticed: these enemies did not set off my radio. So while we're in the sewers, the radio does not get reception. It can't uh, tell us that enemies are coming. But the enemies aren't exactly fast or anything, so... 
It's not that big of a deal. There's like a boat. We can't do anything with it. We can't take the boat off and go down this canal of sewage. Looks like we could have a lovely time just boating down the sewers. We cannot do it. Let's take some sewer health drink. Sure, someone left their energy drink here in the sewers. We're going to take it and probably drink from it. It's Look, if it's sealed, it's still good. It doesn't matter where you found it. Oh, also at this point, I don't have the map for this place. So we just kind of have to wander around, see what we can find. Our goal is to find... Oh, that says keep out. Well, you know what Harry Mason thinks about that. Well, it doesn't matter what he thinks about it, because we can't... It's locked, we can't go through it. Our goal here is to find an exit that is going to take us out by the lake. Since the road is cut off by chasms... So that's our goal here. We're here to find an exit from the sewers. Here we find like a little little office, like a little administrative nook in the sewers. Nothing in these uh, cabinets. There's a safe point there. Got a map. Yeah, we want it. And the sewer key. Well, we did see that locked door. There's some books here. What do you suppose are in those books? We can't observe them. I wonder what's in those. I mean, it's a very damp place. If those, if those are just paper books, they're not going to last long. Uh, maybe that's full of rules and regulations you need to know if you're the administrator of the sewers. How to deal with invading turtles and such. Martial arts turtles. Well, we don't have any of those. We do have some angry green monsters, though. And I think we did hear one. I don't see one. Oh, this is a dead end. Let's go across this. Oh, let's look at the map. Why not? We got a map. We can look at it. Okay, ladder, ladder. We can see the ladders. It does It does look like we should be hanging a left. Like right here. Down here. All right, there's another route down there. Well, two ladders we could try. I think the one to our, on the left of the map... I think that's where we came in. So let's keep heading south. All right. This door isn't going to keep Harry Mason out. Not when he has his daughter to find. Oh, got some, some roaches. And sewer med kits. All right, found a ladder. Let's head on up. However, that does not take us to the surface. It just takes us to another sewer. All right, we can see where the exit ladder is, and we can see there's a bunch of doors... That will probably be in our way. Not many paths you can take in the sewers. It is pretty linear, so kind of hard to get lost here. I'm sure I would be able to manage it if I didn't have a map. But I do have a map, so let's not worry about it. It could go down there. So what happens? It doesn't look like there's anything in our way if we go down there. So why don't we try? Oh, hold on. There we go. So 
So the idea here of, of the sewers is that you're meant to feel a little bit more helpless. Be oh, roaches. Because you're used to the radio telling you about the presence of enemies, but you lose that here. So it's like you lose a sense that you've had throughout the game. Even though the radio is not that helpful. Like, as I mentioned before, it's really there more as, like, a tension builder. But it does give you some advance notice of enemies. It doesn't really matter. In reality, it doesn't really matter that much that we don't have the radio working right now. But because we've lost this sort of sense that we had before, it's just taken away from us, the sewers does... It does feel like uh, there's a certain additional helplessness to this area. Those green things are around somewhere. We don't know where they are. They could be anywhere. And we won't hear him coming. Like this guy, right here. He got me before I could get him. The reality, though, is that they're quite slow. I mean, so is my hammer, but... So I could go through there. That would take us to the exit. Do you think this door is open? No, it's not. Let's try the other way. That's open, though. I do have more health items than I have ammo, so... Taking hits to save ammo probably is not that big of a deal. I could just use my handgun ammo, but... I do like using the hammer, even if I am getting hit a few times. Uh, it's a pretty satisfying weapon. Even though it is slow. Come on, come back here. There we go. Not much in the way of music in the sewers. There's ambient noise. We hear the dripping of water. We can hear the... the shrieks of those green monsters when they appear. Sometimes. We've heard it a couple times. But there's not much sound here. But maybe things are picking up. Alright, we reached the end of this. What does it say on the map? Yeah, nowhere else to go. Well, that's exactly what we need. Sure, we'll take it. You know, you're probably just supposed to run away. I am getting hit a bunch. There we go. Yeah, I, I think the intention is that you're just supposed to run away in terror down the dark hallway. But it's, it's not that big of a deal. There, I just used one health drink. Oh, let's look at this. Key to exit from the sewer to the resort area, which is dropped in the water. Well, the resort area is where we're heading. Oh, there's another guy here. So you would run away from those guys and then run into this guy who would attack you. And then as you continue down this path... As I continue down this path... No? I thought I would hear crashing as monsters come after me. I don't hear any crashing. There it is. There's the crashing. So, you know, now it's, now it's real urgent because, hey, I heard sounds. Monsters must be coming after me. Are they? Do any monsters spawn in when that happens? No, maybe that was fake. Maybe that was a fake crash. 
I guess I'm kind of robbing the scene of its tension. I'm sorry. Alright, oh, no, there's some guys up here. Hold on. It's like one, two... I could have hit him before he hit me. Should have started sooner. A third. There we go. All better. And this is the door that was locked. Not locked anymore. Why do all the doors say keep out? If you were down here, where could you possibly go? All of the doors tell you to keep out. It's not possible to not go anywhere. Danger electric. Well, we won't touch the nothing that's back there. There's a save point. I am going to save right here. Because I'm going to need this save later on. Not right now, though. I'll just remember that I saved there. And here we are, outside. It's dark. It's not Dark Silent Hill. We're still in, you know, the normal Silent Hill. Well, as normal as it can get. But night has fallen. There's also some, like, weird wreckage of a house. I don't really know what the deal with this is. All I know is that someone left handgun bullets behind. And, uh, some rifle bullets. And a med kit! Lots of treasures in this ruined house. I don't have the map for this. I can't see what this ruined house is. But if we run out... Well, there's a chasm. I recognize that. Oh, hold on. I, yeah, I hear ya. I need to look at this information. Hold on, let me just... Get my gun out. Maybe he's leaving. He coming back? No, I don't think he is. Okay, here's the information board. I'm gonna take a map. We will take it. All right, so we're there. So Bachman Road. So that's where this chasm is right here. Because there's this chasm, it breaks it off from the residential area. Wasn't able to come down here without heading into the sewers. Nail, nail, nail. And Andy's bookstore. I guess... I would assume Nail 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 is a place where you can get your nails done. Because if it's not, I don't know what kind of business... Maybe it's like a hardware store. You can buy, like, buy nails. I don't think the name makes it entirely clear. All right. There's a ruined house right here for some reason, but... What's more important is that there's a few buildings right here on Craig Street. Annie's Bar, the Indian Runner. It's kind of hard to see what that says, but it's, a, it's an inn. There are three buildings. These buildings, they contain this game's one and only side quest. That sounds weird, doesn't it? Usually when you hear that a game has, a, has side quests, they usually have a lot, right? That's kind of the purpose of side quests. Many modern games have tons of side quests, uh, Deadly Premonition had 50 side quests, I believe. Silent Hill has one. It has one single side quest, and that's where it is. We are not going to do that side quest, because that side quest affects the ending. And as I said back at the beginning of the game, we're going for the bad ending, which means I'm going to skip this. We will come back another time, though. Right now, I'm going to go down to Sanford Street and head down to Lakeside. So we're just going to skip this entire area. We could spend a lot more time here. And we will at some point, just not right now. Not really many businesses here compared to uh, Central Silent Hill. Now 
not that not as much to look at, I suppose. Let's see. Oh, hold on. Got a romper. Please, sir. Sir. Sir, please. What does that say? Service and grill? Bets? Bets Big? Bets Big Service and Grill? What kind of name is Bets? Is that on the map? Not really. I don't see anything here called that. I'm quite sure we can't actually go to wherever that is. Oh! Elk's Bingo! I wonder how- I wonder what Harry thinks about Bingo. Here's a motel. We don't need any of that right now. Ooh! What we do need is bowling! Freeway lanes! Coffee shop? 18 lanes? Ooh, co cocktails! At the bowling alley! Fancy. Unfortunately, we cannot go there in Silent Hill 1. Silent Hill 2 has a bowling alley. Silent Hill 1 does not. Anything interesting on the other side of the street? Ah, some items, yeah. On the collapsed stairs. Exploring in Silent Hill 1 does have benefits. It's like you can't go in many buildings, but you look in nooks and crannies, and you do find a bunch of items. A bunch of ammo, a bunch of healing items. It's around. Can't really... No, I can't interact with anything here. Kind of looks like a, an area we, where you would look at the sights, but I can't do anything here. Oop. Anything here? I don't see anything. Probably shouldn't waste the ammo on these dogs. Looks like I should probably turn around and go the other way, doesn't it, though? Alright, let's head to the other side of the street and go this way. Oh, what's this? It's a diner. And dogs. So many dogs. Just taking a look at, you know, the environments, the towns, the businesses. Uh, park in the rear. Well, we don't have a car. We don't need to worry about that. There's a romper. I don't need to deal with him. Got so many dogs already. Anyway, this is a diner. Do not believe we can go in that diner. Pretty sure we cannot. At pretty well, we're also by the inn. Does that... It says diner. Does that door lead to the inn? I'm not sure. Well, we don't need to know about that now. Like I said, some point later, we'll be checking out the, the inn and those other businesses. It's just not something we need to do right now, though. All right, let's head across this bridge. Like, something bad will happen. Some bad things have already happened. Something terrible is happening. I don't know how Harry figures that, but... Okay, so that's the first time we've actually have seen this transformation happen in front of us. Usually, it was the case that... Well, we can't go back. The road is gone. Usually, it's been the case that we will, like, um... We'll have some sort of area that we'll walk through, and when we come out, this is all smashed up, and when we come out, it'll be Dark Silent Hill, or maybe we pass out, and then we wake up, and it's Dark Silent Hill. This is the first time we've actually seen the transformation happen in front of us. There's still a tree. There's still trees in Dark Silent Hill. That's encouraging. Actually, my controller's rumbling. Hold on a second. Let me just 
Handle that. Let's see where on the map we are. This is not a, an area that I usually explore, because you just have to run to... Oh, there's some items here. You just have to run to uh, the lakeside, but uh, might as well take our time since we've been seeing the sights. Sorry, Romper. Whoops, sorry, Air Screamer. Oh, I said sorry, Romper. I got Luthez pressed anyway and got, got hit by that guy. Okay, they both hit me. They both hit me. Yeah, there's like greenery growing around like the chain link fence and such. Let's see. Well, below us are some garages. We might as well see what that is. I don't know if this is anything. No. I don't think there's like anything here for us to really look at. But let's like run around these buildings, you know? Oh, can't. Uh, uh. They kind of cornered me. Uh. Okay. No, nope. no, please. No, I'm not interested in your love, Romper. I know you have meant much affection to give, but... Here's the East Garage. There's some, like, cars in there, but, of course, they're not for us. They will never be for us. We can, like, run in the back of the building here. We don't need to go here, but... We might as well have a look. Oh, so many rompers. Whoop. And this would be a nice place to, you know, sit down on a bench and take in the sights. It's just the, the pitch black sights. Look at the rusted metal structures in the distance. You know, ponder the nature of things. Well, I guess there's really nothing else there, is there? Okay, we're heading down the lakeside. This is where we want to go anyway. Probably should check my health. There we go. It's look if you ha if you carry enough Degeneration X brand health drinks with you wherever you go, you're gonna be fine. Let's get on this boat. Get in the boat. There we go. Now we're indoors. The nasty animals can't hurt us anymore. Well, maybe they were able to hurt this guy. It's a body stuck to the bulkhead. But how? But uh, why? No, I'm sorry, that's not a wheelchair, so Harry is not questioning it. Sybil. Harry. How did you get back here? I followed the sewer. Were you the one who cut the fence? I'm glad you made it. I was worried about you. You were worried? Where did you disappear to? Never mind. I want to know what's going on here. What is with this town? This may sound really off the wall, but listen to me. You've got to believe me. I haven't gone crazy, and I'm not fooling around. At first, I thought I was losing my mind. But now I know I'm not. It's not me. This whole town. It's being invaded by the other world. By a world of someone's nightmarish delusions come to life. Little by little, the invasion is spreading. Trying to swallow up everything in darkness. I think I'm finally beginning to understand what that lady was talking about. Harry, hold on a minute. I don't get it. Look, I don't understand it all myself. I guess I can't explain it. Well, what's making this happen? I don't know that either. But I do know Cheryl is there. There? under whoever created this darkness. 
Cheryl is somewhere and she needs my help. This whole thing's been a major blow to you. You need to rest. Sybil, I... The demon is awakening, spreading those wings. Dahlia Gillespie. Was it not as I said? I see it all now. Yes, everything. Hungry for sacrifice, the demon will swallow up the land. I knew this day would come. And what's more, the task is almost finished. There's only two left. To seal this town to the abyss, the mark of Samael. When it is completed, all is lost. Even in daytime, darkness will cover the sun. The dead will walk and martyrs will burn in the fires of hell. Everyone will die. So what am I supposed to do? I've got to save Cheryl. It is simple. Stop the demon. The demon, the demon taking that child's form. Stop it before your daughter becomes a sacrifice. Before it is too late. Stop it! Stop it! What do I do? Go to the lighthouse on the lake. And to the center of the amusement park. Make haste. You are the only hope. Look, Harry. I really don't get what's going on. But if there's a chance we can save your daughter, I'm in. I'll check out the amusement park. You go to the lighthouse. Sybil, thanks. You will need to use it. Use what? The flowers. Only with that can you stop it. What about Sybil? Well, of course, Dahlia leaves without answering Harry's question. Let's pick up some ammo. All right, so we're getting some story starting to come together. The, the town being covered by the darkness created by someone's nightmarish delusions, according to Dahlia. Those that nightmare is coming from the girl, Alessa, who is a demon taking a child's form. That's what we're getting so far. Alessa needs to create two more seals that seal the town to the abyss. Uh, one of them is at a lighthouse. Another is at an amusement park. Well, there's a lighthouse at the bottom of the map. And then uh, over on the left side, two lakeside amusement park is what that says. So we're going to both those places. Harry's taking the lighthouse. Sybil's taking the amusement park. But oh no! According to Dahlia, we're going to need to use this Flaros to stop Alessa. Sybil doesn't have a Flaros. Only we have this. So what's Sybil going to do? We don't know. Who can say? What we can say is that we're going to save. What we can also say is that I noticed some of the voice clips cutting out during that cutscene uh, in the on, a, on an actual PS1 that doesn't happen it does seem that the PS3 has skipped some uh, some short voice clips here and there uh, not many times but it did happen a few times in this video uh, but that's going to be it for right now for Silent Hill next time we're going to be heading to the lighthouse see if we can stop a little girl just see if we can do that with our uh, with our pyramid that we've been carrying around for a while. I'll see you next time for more Silent Hill.